Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a force push effect. Um, I got some requests about this tutorial and um, now I'm going to show you how to make um, a, fo a good force push effect. Uh, first of all, my English pronunciation, it isn't very good, so, but I, I hope you all understand. So, Well, uh, that being said, uh, now I'm going to show you how the effect will look like. Um, yeah, this guy over here is uh, using the force to uh, levitate the lightsaber. Actually, it's just an old flashlight, but yeah, you get the point. And uh, then he force pull it, pull it uh, towards himself, and force push it with a really high speed. Yeah. Okay. Let's begin. Um, I have this uh, footage over here. Uh, this is the first of the footage. It's uh, me using some uh, fish wire to uh, lift the, the flashlight up. And the other footage is uh, myself uh, doing some uh, stuff with my hands. Okay, so um, those two footage is what you're going to uh, to do to uh, film, yeah. Okay, and now for the effect, uh, we are going to make uh, the the flashlight and only the flashlight appear on uh, this clip. So we use the rectangle tool over here, and we drag a square so that it covers the flashlight then we go down to mask and to subtract so now we have this uh, guy and the flashlight without the other guy over here so that's what we are looking for okay but uh, there's one problem and that is that you can see uh, there's a line between uh, the two footage the footages so we uh, go to this uh, footage and um, hit F and feather it about um, 40 so that it's so that it look li looks nice. Okay, um, the next thing we are going to do is to uh, uh, make this do uh, time time it so it uh, when he uh, the guy pulls. The force pulls, the flashlight will follow him. Uh, it's already looking pretty good. Just need to... Uh, m make the mask a bit bigger. There. The, okay. Already now we can see that it's he's starting to force push and the flashlight is already moving so if I drag, drag this and like so actually I'm going to make this comp a little longer so I hit control K and uh, make it about 25 there we go so we can see a little bit better. Okay. Um, well, first things first. Things first. Uh, first of all, uh, we must be sure that uh, the guy over here is not well. Like you see here, uh, he is losing his arm, and that isn't very good. So we click mask path and the stopwatch. Use this um, tool over here and uh, add a few, few more keys. Okay, and then we hit V to get this arrow and move the points so that we can see his arm. Okay, and those. Okay. 
pretty good and now and we are also going to do it here because as you can see the flashlight is disappearing so the disappearing flashlight wow okay so if we go um, go some frames forward and widen the mask like so Hmm, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, uh, let's see. It's going to force push it, uh, and then it's going to move. So, uh, there we got it. Uh, maybe there. Okay, force push and whoosh. Okay, but still the arms are, uh, well disappearing so uh, we could also go back at a keyframe for the mask feather uh, go down to about 30 and here go about down to about 10 so it's a bit so it don't disappear so yeah so we can see it a little better uh, need some new points. Okay, there. Go forward, adjust the points, forward again. Make sure his arm is not disappearing. Okay. Uh, By the way, be sure to make this mask pretty large because, well, we are going to need it later. Uh, okay, like so. And then. Yeah, yeah and. Okay. Go forward. Make sure his arms doesn't disappear. Okay, pretty good. Well, um, already now we have a force push effect, but the flashlight is moving very, very slow compared to the other footage where it's moving extremely fast. So, how I how do I, did I make this? Well, about here. Uh, find a frame where the flashlight is uh, pretty still, 